Hey cuties, I'm Anikia and you're watching What Happened on the Soaps. This is General Hospital ed Edition. Today is Friday, yay! June 23rd, 2023. Mm, I'm happy for the weekend, guys. Let's get right into this on a scale of 1 to 10. You know, I know for me, these are no longer the A-listers on this soap for me. I like um, like the storylines that's going on with Portia, Taggart, Jordan, like that. That does it for me. So this was an okay day. Um, I'm going to give it a seven. Um, okay, so let's get right into it. We see, who do we want to go to first? Okay, we see Alexis and Tracy going at it. Gregory comes up and he tells her, you know what? Tracy, I'm a gentleman and all that, but you're not you're not a lady. He didn't say that, but that's what I heard. You're not a lady, so I you know, back off. Back off of uh, Alexis. I, uh, what we doing right now? Like what 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 what's this thing going on between Tracy and Gregory? And she says she tells him, uh, sir, the same way I told you last time, you're not a gentleman, and the same way I told you last time, you really should be thanking me because I was hard on your son. And what happened? He and Brooklyn are now back together. Where's my thank you? I said, Tracy. And then uh, he and Tracy start going back and forth. Back and forth. Alexis says, "Listen, I got this." And Tracy said, "You know what? I got a lot of stuff going on right now. You know, with Ned and all that." She said, "So I'm gonna go ahead and buy my business, and um, you know, and you, you don't really want it with me." And so she leaves. And so Alexis and Gregory starts talking, and she starts telling him the history between her and Tracy. And for some reason, I don't know why Gregory is just like. Oh, she Tracy also told Gregory, you don't know anything. You don't, you're not going through anything. So you don't know about having some compassion and empathy. I don't know, child. Tracy, you wouldn't have it either. You know, we get Tracy is Tracy. And so, but Gregory has made it up in his mind that he's going to take Tracy down. I said, baby, I don't have time for this. Wh whatever y'all trying to do with this storyline, keep it. <laughs> I don't, I, I mean, what is this? But anyways, let's move on. And he talking about because it's it has to deal with with Chase. I said, uh, uh, okay. The only thing that's really Tracy doing the Chase is she helped him get back on the thing. She blackmailing Brooklyn to work at Deception. But besides that, that really don't have nothing. I don't know. Am I missing something? Because y'all know I be in and out of General Hospital, especially when it be uh, characters I don't really care for. But let's move on because that's these three are I don't really care. So then we see um, they all go back. So Eddie is in the hospital with the nurse, and he's telling her, if you want to help me, get me to Vegas. Now, she felt like he was being, um, I guess, irate and irrational. She gives us a, a sed sedative. And I said, why? It, he was, I mean, I guess, because I don't know, I used to work with patients like this, and what he was doing was kind of mild, but I guess, you know, it's supposed to be exaggerated, like they always have to, he's a lot to deal with, so she gives him something, and, you know, he falls out, so passes out, so Kevin goes, and he talks to um, Olivia, Brooklyn, and Chase, he talks to them, and he's just telling them that he thinks Eddie Main is there to stay because the testing going on, it, it looks like Eddie Main is a choice that Ned's brain is making. And so they're like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. And then uh, Tracy comes up, and she's like, you know what? I don't have time for this. We're going to snap him out of it. And they said, and then, you know, of course, Olivia and Tracy start going back and forth. And uh, um, Brooklyn's like, no wonder he doesn't want to be a part of this family. So she goes off to see him. And Chase, of course, follows. So then it's Kevin, Olivia, and Tracy um, talking or whatever. And they're they're going at it. They're continuing to go at it. And then we see that um, what's her name? Brooklyn goes in and she talks to Eddie. Because I'm going to call him Eddie. <laughs> he want to be called Eddie? Okay. <laughs> she goes in and she talks to Eddie. Um, and she said, oh, he's resting. What happened? And the nurse said, you know, she had to give him something to calm him down. So the nurse leaves and, and Brooklyn um, holds his hand. And she's like, he's it's like all the cares in the world are gone he's just so restful and peaceful and he wakes up because i guess it didn't work and he tells her you want to help me out 
take me to Vegas. Give me a while. I'm ready to go to Vegas. And so they start talking. Um, first of all, he grabs her arm and um chase tells him i'm gonna need you to let her go and she says he's not hurting me he said even if she's not hurting you i still need him to let you go so he lets her go and he just tells her give me to vegas i want to perform i want to be in the action and she says i get it i know how it feels to perform he said because i don't want to be he said deal with the family's business and all the responsibility and stress and the ulcers and all that that comes with it. I don't want that. I want to just um, be around music. And she says, I get it. And he says, I think you um, would rather be in the music than working corporate anyways, which makes Chase look because, you know, she's went back to deception. So he's like, yes, yeah, she would rather be with music. Even, even Eddie Main can see this. And he just came back to us. So anyway, she leaves the room. Now, I don't know, but I ain't like the way Olivia was talking to Tracy. I know Tracy can be a bit much, but her calling her out of her name and stuff and all that, because you wouldn't have want, like, Dante, like, if Sam was doing that to Olivia, it would be a problem. So I was like, Tracy can be a bit much, but I don't know. I wasn't here for it. But then again, I don't really care for Olivia. I never really have really cared for this character so that might be my little bias and everything but they going back at it because tracy said he just needs to knock his head again and kevin said no nah, i ain't never heard of that working and tracy was like i'm joking and i love you it was like this is not a funny matter i need ned leo needs ned and and uh brooklyn said well y'all ain't gonna get him because he's looking eddie eddie is looking for a one-way ticket to vegas and they're like oh my god and so tracy said that's enough all this uh i'm gonna give tough love all this uh coddling him and stuff Uh uh-uh so they go to the hospital room and eddie man is gone child he is left so then we see from there um let's go to who we want to talk about sasha uh, so we see Sasha and Lucy talking and she does tell her again, I'm sorry about, you know, everything with Cody, but, you know, keep keep yourself open and you never know what life has in store for you. And then um, she says, the beginning stages of romance is so nice because you're just like, oh, I don't know. Does he like me? Does he love me? Does he love me not? And all this kind of stuff. And Sasha said, I always thought it was torture. And Lucy's like, no, I love the beginning stages of a romance when you're starting to get to know somebody. And then um, Kevin comes up with daisies and stuff and he's there for her. He, you know, he's there and they sit down and they start talking about their romance. And she said, the deceptor is doing so well. And they said, actually, he is the one that helped me come up with this idea. And they were like, how did he come up with the idea or whatever? And so Lucy starts telling the story about how they were in bed and she was saying that and they, and, and they were talking and everything and kevin said wouldn't it be nice if you could have something that keeps you like youthful and young and all that i said isn't that most products but okay and so she said that's how he did it and he's not even taking any credit now the music turned around this time and i said why is the music turning why is the music turning sinister and so then um they 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 just start talking about how much they love in love and sasha says so i have one question and they were like what when's the wedding and they both said never and i said lucy don't want to get married and so then um martin said you know it's been three marriages three strikes and i'm out but anyways he ends up having to leave right and then lucy and sasha talk and she said girl i thought you wanted to be married and she said i do i thought i was gonna say never and he was gonna say never say never or something she didn't know he was gonna do that she said but that's okay um sasha said you know he loves you and you know a man who would do all this is not taking any money from you you know he, it has to be true love. And Lucy said, you're right. So I'm, I can talk him into the marriage or whatever. I said, all right. So then we see Martin. And I said, what's going on? Because the, the, okay, I love seeing Lucy and Sasha and all them. But it was, I was like, what's the point in this? I'm not understanding what's the point in y'all showing them. Because it just felt filler to me. And so I was like, is this a conversation that we'll never see again? Well, child, Martin is at the pool or whatever. He goes to the pool. And he gets a message on his phone talking about 
50000 was credited into his account. And I guess he's getting this monthly. And he says, yeah, Lucy, getting married would not be a good idea. I said, who are you getting 50000 from? Because they was talking about his wife. And it said number two. And then he gets another message from number uh, from somebody that says number three. And he said, the worst thing about being at the pool with number two is number three. And then he falls into the pool with his phone, right? And I said, Martin, what you got going on? Who, who you getting this money from? What's happening? Because if we remember correctly, he said that he had to pay all of his wives out, right? Remember when they were, Anna was trying to get him to help? He said that, right? But that looked like somebody's been paying him. I don't know what's going on, child, but we're going to see. Don't you start crying, little mama. But we're going, we're going to see what's going on or whatever, right? So then we go to um that's it with them y'all so then we go over here to sunny and nina are talking let me see if i got everybody before i move on to these people y'all okay so sunny and nina are talking right and you know they're just enjoying their sales you know she looked cute i like the dress girl and so they're just enjoying their sales um i don't know what time it is a late afternoon or something um because she got on like a, a a party time dress and so does jocelyn because jocelyn comes in with dicks and they walk up to sunny and they greet them or whatever and um sunny uh, you know jocelyn always gonna have little snide remarks towards nina it is what it is the girl took her uh mama husband and so they're all sitting down um and they talk about you know how drew Sonny asked, no, Jocelyn asked Sonny, you know, how the court case is going. He has said he hasn't heard anything. And, and Nina said something about it. it was noble of Drew to take this sentencing. And she's like, and Jocelyn makes that little snide remark about, yeah, he thinks about somebody besides himself. He puts others. And Sonny tells Jocelyn, let me talk to you. And so she goes and Drew sits, I mean, uh, Dex sits down with Nina. And he she tells him about, you know, they want the same thing and she says don't tell me it's just a job you actually do like are you okay mama come on she said you actually do like sunny and he was like yeah and, and so she tells him we want the same thing to protect sunny and he was like yeah he was like so and she said you know we want peace and he said do you want me to speak on your behalf for jocelyn and i said and y'all just be writing anything because <laughs> this thing didn't even make sense but she said we just want peace and and it, it, you know and it, she didn't say yes speak on my behalf but she kind of implied it and he says you know i'm gonna let jocelyn make her own decisions but just know i'll always protect jocelyn and sunny and she said and hopefully sunny's wife he said that goes without saying as long as sunny cares for you you'll always have my protection you know and and, and or whatever so then jo Sonny goes over and he talks to Jocelyn and he says he wants peace. And she said, listen, I don't like, you know, be, and it, because he tells her Dex is working for me and you told me you didn't want him to. So I just want to make sure everything's all good. And she says, Dex was working for you before I came into the picture and I was wrong for um, asking you to fire him and everything. And he says, yeah, okay, I hear that, but that's not what I asked. And she said, okay what i can tell you is that you know as long as dex is working for you and he's happy and 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 the people i love you know they love you and it hurts it hurts them for me to be hating you so she doesn't give him like she don't love sunny like that or whatever and she ain't gonna be going over to his house for thanksgiving or anything but she gonna you know she gonna let it be she gonna let it be she gonna start stop holding so much animosity because it really doesn't do anything for the people that she cares about that love sunny and he says hopefully we'll both do better soon but i'll take that and she said all right so then they're sitting there talking and michael walks in so michael walks in to update them about what happened at the courthouse so then we go over to the courthouse and it's michael and carly there to support drew it's zeke the uh prosecutor and the judge baby that judge ain't playing no games because they said you know zeke is trying to tell him three years is a long time judge you know and the judge said well not only is he getting three years but um 
the location is Spring Ridge, and I have the right to change the location. He going to Pinville. Now, I know I've been saying Statesville, but I watch all four of the soaps, and sometimes I get the names confused, so I'm sorry. Um, but he going to three years in States, Pinville, and I said, but he did a white collar crime. Like, I don't mean, and he said, because we got to show people that there is no favoritism. And I said, I get that, but this is a white collar crime. You sending him to Pinville for this? You had y'all had Kevin, not Kevin, um, Ryan in Spring Ridge. I mean, I know you know Ryan had conditions or whatever. You had Heather Weather Weber. You allowed her to be in Spring Ridge. Why are you sending Drew like? And they were like, he's a Navy SEAL. He's done this and that. And he said, but we gotta set um the tone and um we have to show that nobody's above the law. I get what the judge is saying, but I think that's a bit much. Like, and you know, Drew is not my favorite person because I think the character is boring. But sir, like, why are you sending him to Pittenville for this? Like, I don't know. I don't know child i don't know but anyways so he's going away for three years and zeke is trying to talk it down and the judge said yeah i'm done here and then carly gets up and she starts yelling about how this isn't fair and they say he told her sit down ma'am i'm gonna hold you in contempt and so they had to tell carly go on sit down i said yeah baby see carly you did this i don't i listen i don't feel bad for drew i don't think that he should get this punishment it should be this severe i don't think that but I don't feel bad for Drew because I already told y'all how I feel about him taking this deal on anyways when Carly is the one who who they told don't buy the stock and she ran her fast ass and did it anyways. So now Drew has to pay for this because his dumb, dumb self went and said, I'll, t- I'll, I'll make this plea deal or whatever, thinking that um, the judge was just going to accept it six months in spring ridge <laughs> baby you should have said three years in spring ridge he might have accepted that but i don't know child so anyways they tell carly carly to sit down and she does and the judge said and as a matter of fact go on and um go on and put him in pittenville today he's gonna go t- they're going to tory lanes him and he going right from the courthouse to um pittenville and, and zeke says he got business he has a child can you at least give him some time to get his affairs in order to just say yeah you know what i can do that he get a week i said oh wait okay this judge is not playing and the judge was like um it's a done daughter we done with this and even the prosecutor tried to get up and you know talk about you know, giving him some time and showing more leniency. And the judge said, no, we got to set examples. That's pretty much what he's doing. And so the judge is like, all right, I'm done. See ya. And so he leaves and the prosecutor leaves. And then uh, Zeke says, let me go and try to, let me go and try to talk to the judge, do something. So he leaves them and, and Michael is just devastated, but he gives car. He tells um, Drew, whatever you need, any resources I have, you got them. And so Drew leaves, right? And so, I mean, excuse me, Michael leaves. So it's just Carly and Drew. And she's like, oh, my God. And he's like, Carly, it's okay uh, or whatever, you know. And she's like, you're going away for three years. I can't believe this. This is not good, Drew. And he says, you know, it's it's fine. You know, I hate this, but it's fine. I knew, you know, we we knew that the judge might not accept the deal. And she said, but three years in Bentonville, he, this can't be. And so, you know, he's telling her, stop thinking about it like that. We need to think about um, making the most of the time. And she had to tell him, what about Scout? And he said, of course, I'm going to spend some time with Scout or whatever. But when I'm not with Scout, I want to be with you. Uh, what uh, I said, child. And then um, he tells her, so we need to think about your finances because you're going to have a hefty, hefty fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell Aurora. And she was like, what? No, you can't do that. What about Scout's future? He said, oh, she got ELQ shares. And and I set up other stuff for her. Y'all trying to clean that up. Y'all really trying to clean that up. Because honestly, Drew put himself in prison. Now he's selling his business for Carly. <laughs> okay. No comment, y'all. No comment. So then um, she's, he says, but I don't want to think about this anymore. We got seven days. 
let's make the most of it. I said, goodbye. Like, I'm glad he's going away. I don't have to see these brother and sister kissing no more anymore. So, anyways, that's pretty much it with them, child. So, now we go back to Michael, who's went over, and they're like, how did the deal go? And then he tells them, Drew got three years in Peterville. And they said, what? And Nina said, it wasn't supposed to happen like this. And Jocelyn said, well, how was it supposed to happen, Nina? And she said, I'm just saying, I thought he had a plea deal. That and, and Michael said the judge rejected it, so he sent him the three years in Pittenville. And so Sonny said, tell Drew I'll make some calls. And, and Michael said, I already have the U.S. Attorney General said they they were just as shocked. They didn't know, it, but the judge has the right to do this. They didn't know he was going to do that. So they all trying to figure out what's going on. And then Nina get a call from Ava, and Ava tells Nina, um, she heard about it, and Nina said, "Girl, I didn't know he was gonna be going to Pittsville for three years. I didn't know. I didn't know this was gonna happen." And baby, y'all remember Eddie Main stepped out of that hospital? He stepped right over on on, on on to where are they? Are they at Savoy or are they at Metro? Child, I don't know which place they are. Tell me in the comments, one of y'all, please. Um, but he stepped up, and I said, "Oh, he remembers. He's Eddie Main, huh?" I wonder if he gonna he rem he he thinks he's Eddie Main, but do he remember what happened to him before he hit his head? Is that why he? Because on the preview it said he was looking for Nina. Hmm. Is he looking for Nina? Because you know he he trying to get out to Vegas or whatever. What's gonna happen here, child? Nina, you can't take another man from his family and to send him to Vegas and stuff. Now, girl, I'm on your side for most of this, and it'd be hard to defend you, but I can't defend you through that. <laughs> You know, I got to try to be as um, unbiased as possible. And I said, who, Nina? Now, what you on did? But anyway, Sonny and them are talking, and he says, how's Carly taking this? Because Jocelyn said, I got to go find my mom. She's not answering. I said, your mama is being grown with Drew. And so they say, um, the, it's funny. I know Drew is going to be with Carly. But it's funny that his first thought wasn't like, I got to call Sam so we can start breaking it. You got seven days to break this to Scout. But I guess he just want to have a night where he don't think about none of that. But anyways, so Sonny and Michael are talking or whatever. And, and I don't know. Drew said he'll be all right in Pittenville. He was, he's was he been in Afghanistan and all, Afghanistan and all that. Some of y'all say he's supposed to connect with Cyrus. I don't know. Anyways, child, I'm done with this. That was, child, I've been talking 22 minutes. I am so sorry, y'all. That was General Hospital today. It is the weekend. Y'all be safe. Be blessed. It is so hot. Y'all keep stay hydrated. Stay cool. Let's pray Um, for those of you who like to pray for those who, you know, have really been infected by the weather. It stormed here the other night. Baby, I said, this lightning is lightning. <clears throat> and the lights went off, but they were only off for like 15 minutes. Thank God, because it was hot. Um, that little 15 minutes, the air went off and I said, oh, oh, it is really hot outside, <laughs> but y'all just pray for everyone, you know, that they hurry up and get their lights back on the power back on and that they, you know, be safe with all these storms and everything that's going on. It is the weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Um, and I will see you Monday for an all new episode of what happened on the soaps general hospital edition. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>